My family is actually Samoan, which is a smaller island, smaller Polynesian island. But they all moved to Hawaii. My grandma and my grandpa moved there. My mom is one of 14, so she has a lot of siblings. Growing up, I used to, we used to go visit them and stuff all the time. The culture has become part of our kids' upbringing. It's a very rich culture. It's a culture that has warm hospitality. It has a culture where it's, uh, family is very important. It's a close-knit family. There's lots of reverence and respect for one another. We love to get together and have large gatherings and we sit around and fellowship. We sing praises, have prayer, and we eat. We really enjoy that and it was good for them to experience it. The culture there is really, really big. I mean, like, one thing that they always preach is family. So I'm the type to text my mom every day, call my mom, call my dad. I'm always in touch with my brother. And so family is what keeps me going. Growing up, I used to, we used to go visit them and stuff all the time, but the reason my mom moved to Michigan is because my dad was stationed in the Army. It was a culture shock because being from Hawaii, you know, it's really laid back and um, it's, just, uh, it's just a whole, it's like a whole different state. Talia was born in Lansing. Interesting enough, my husband was in the State Trooper Academy and it was just nice that she was able to full circle and kind kind of come back here to Michigan State. With Talia, when she was probably around five or six years old, uh, I was participating in a beach tourney, two-person beach to volleyball tournament, and she would just pick up the ball and come over to where I was, and so I would, you know, take that opportunity to just kind of demonstrate some of the skills to her. So I positioned her hands like a platform and then I would toss the ball and have her repeat it. She's always been in my corner, you know, helping me out, coaching me ever since I was younger. She was actually my middle school volleyball coach for in seventh and eighth grade. And then she followed me to high school and was the freshman volleyball coach. She was there talking to me, helping me like with the ropes and my skills, and then just also, she knew what it took to become a college volleyball player, and so she was always in my corner rallying for me, helping me out even on my bad days. I'm very proud of Talia. Um, she's a very hard worker. I think she's a great leader as well. She is, um, she likes to take charge. Uh, she leads by example. She's very encouraging to her teammates. Uh, she is very mentally tough. She's resilient. Celia is um, always mindful of her teammates and she's always trying to look outside of herself to help her team. down there for I think nine days and that's a little bit shorter than what we usually go for but um, went to see my family my grandma still lives there and a lot of my mom's siblings I love seeing my grandma she's 89 now and so she's been going strong she loves going to exercise class and <laughs> all this stuff but I don't know I love to go see her because it's just so different just comparing my it's like two different worlds basically so they all speak Samoan there my mom is bilingual um, so they all even like my first cousins they all know and can understand the language being immersed in a whole different culture while I was there and while whenever I'm there um, it's just I just love being in it because it's just so different for me and it's something that I'm really really proud to be a part of. I think the biggest thing that I like Talia to take away from her experiences especially with the culture is just the discipline, uh, the love for for others, uh, being kind to others and also that she will continue to have and grow with her uh, volleyball sisterhood. I think it's it's just an amazing experience and also that it's lifelong and I really believe that I think if she can continue that she'll always be successful in life. The giving of a lei is uh, a very, it symbolizes uh, greeting, love, you you get a lay when you get off the airplane, you're greeted with a lay when you say goodbye. So that's very, um, very heartfelt. 
for my mom, it's really hard, like, because her mom's getting older and we don't get to go back as much. So every chance that we get to go there and we get to see her and we get to see our family is just a, it's just a great opportunity that we take full advantage of. Before we leave every time, she brings us downstairs and she's like, okay, we have to say a prayer before you guys go. Her and my mom have this very like heartfelt moment because my mom doesn't know the next time we'll be able to get back to see her. You wanna give me? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The moment where she puts the lay on and I'm just like, wow, I just, I love being here and I love, I love her. Can you go there so they understand that? These are the moments that really, really matter, you know. Sometimes you can lose sight of that, the, like within, especially being an athlete, like college athlete, sometimes you can lose sight of the important things, which is, to me, my family, and the moments I get to spend with them. Don't say any. I love you so much, Daddy. I miss you. I miss you.